one. Um, Claudia, it was a terrific first half. Obviously not so good in the second half down the stretch though. You were, you were faced with a challenge. Um, it looked like you know you, you responded to that quite well. What, what do you take away from, from that performance? Yeah, well, look, it was a big weekend for us, and then um, you know losing Natasha right before coming as well was uh, you know another challenge for us. So, you know, really proud. Obviously, that second half we knew we were probably going to run out of legs for a little bit. Um, you know, we only really played seven last night, and um, <clears throat> so I think you know certainly um, lots of confidence. Great weekend for us. Great results for us. I mean, that's what we needed to do. We knew our backs were against the wall, and pretty much every game for us now is like a playoff game. And that's how we're treating it. So, um, yeah, really proud of the effort and, and then being able to close it out. Like, um, obviously, last weekend, you know, Suze misses two foul shots to win a game. And she's that type of player that was like, mm, give me the ball this week and I'll make them. And she did, you know. So, I guess, you know, credit to her. She really, uh, you know, she had a great weekend. Really um, big for us. Talk a lot about, at this time of year, about weekends, games being season defining. You know, to come down here, go to Dandenong last night, do what you did down there. Be really thrown a challenge in this one. Second leg of a doubleheader road trip, come away with a win. It's got to be one of those weekends for you. Yeah, I think it was a make or break weekend for us. There's no doubt. You know, we could have come down here, and we have we haven't played well on the road, to be honest. And um, you know, we've had lots of road doubles, and I think uh, you know certainly the results are going to you know propel, you know give us that sort of uh, momentum that we need coming into the end of February, which is going to be huge for us. I think. Uh, you know, offensively, some of the stuff is starting to flow a lot better. We just obviously need to work against pressure, make sure we're not turning it over, which you know, sort of hampered us in patches yesterday and today. But I'm you know, really, really proud of the effort tonight. Um, Carl, what was the intensity like out there? There's a lot of shot making between both sides in, in some really big moments. Uh, to, to be out there on the court, was the intensity as high as it looked from a from an outsider's perspective? Yeah, and I think more so as well, like both teams understood that this was make or break for their season. And, you know, when you're playing for something like that, you're playing for a final spot, it makes the intensity even more high. But, I mean, Bendigo did a great job in the second half, like Chloe said, denying us, taking us out of our offense. And we really struggled for a few patches in that second half. And obviously Kelsey went off and, um, you know, she's a really hard player to guard when she's that aggressive and shooting three. So i um, pretty happy to come away with the win. Um, in terms of the first half, it looked like you, you know you had the, the scout down quite well. You telegraphed a few of their passes, were able to come away with some some easy points in the you know the fast break and that type of thing. Did you feel like you went away from that in the in the second half, or just that that ball pressure forced you into some mistakes on the offensive end? Yeah, not necessarily. Obviously, uh, our coaches put in a whole lot of work in terms of scout and stuff like that. And yeah, we did do a great job um, of not allowing Bendigo to do what they wanted to, but. We were hitting shots a lot more freely, you know, in the first half, and we kind of went away from that in the second half. And I think more so, um, Bendigo's pressure in the second half put us, you know, on the spot, and that's what we struggled with. Um, offensively, it was sort of players were going in spurts. Susie would start out the game brilliantly, um, and then you see Darcy come through and, and play some big minutes and played 31 minutes this afternoon in a, in a really strong performance. Um, you know. Mia had, had some big moments there as well. To be able to share the load like that on the offensive end, even though Susie's had 31, everyone sort of contributed on that offensive end is a massive positive. Yeah, look, we're well aware that obviously Susie is, uh, you know, a huge target for us, but we're also aware that teams are doubling, tripling, triple teaming her. And I think Susie did a great job tonight of when she was double and tripled, she was fighting open shooters, and especially in the, you know, the first half. Um, we know that teams are keen in on that, and I think that's obviously where, you know, we excel when we get multiple people in double figures. And um, you know, tonight it was Darcy and Mia, but last night Michaela had a great game. So did Mia, and you know, we're obviously more potent when we can do that. Um, Darcy played terrific off the bench, 31 minutes. Claudia, you must have been really, really happy with what she showed you. Oh yeah, look, she had a brilliant weekend. You know, she's a good player, she's a good young player. Um, you know, she always has multiple efforts on both ends of the floor and she you know, usually gets a couple of boards and gets us going. So, you know, really proud of her. Look, Kayla was taken out early with a couple, you know, fouls in a minute and a half and, you know, she struggles to come back from early foul trouble. So we knew, um, you know, I guess we're lucky that we've got Dosi on that on the bench and ready to play that hard. Um, it was really tight down the stretch. You mentioned that Susie missed a couple last week um, and, and wanted the opportunity to, to hit a couple at the end there. You, you were able to take advantage of those chances down the stretch. A couple of turnovers, a couple of big shots at the other end that can sometimes be tough to respond to. Um, Susie was able to, to do that um, terrifically at the end. 
Yeah, look, I mean, she's a champion, you know, she's a winner, she's a true competitor, you know, she's the you know, most competitive person I've ever met in my life. Um, you know, and she was devastated last week. Um, you know, we knew that Sydney game was a big game for us and, you know, for her to miss two foul shots and us to lose by one was devastating. And, you know, she took that pretty hard and it took her a good 48 hours to get over it. Um, but, you know, then she obviously worked on her free throws this week, put a few up, and, um, you know, she's the type of player that's really resilient. And that's what makes her so good. So, you know, she was um, happy to get, you know, I think she even held on to the ball till they came to fail. And she yep. said, yeah, I'll go make two. And, you know, she made more than two. So, you know, that's the type of player she is. Um, you go back home now for a game against Dandenong next week again. Um, follow that up with Canberra. You know, no, I guess no one apart from Sydney is really out in the hunt, sort of clear in terms of the finals race. Um, but you're in the box seat now. You've put yourself in a, in a pretty good position with two games at home. You must be pretty happy with where you're sitting, although nothing's assured. Yeah, definitely. Look, it's, you know, it's still, um, you know, make or break, really, you know, and our backs are still against the wall. I think with this team, what we've found is every time we sort of, um, you know, celebrate a win, or then we tend to relax and come out the next week and play terrible. So, um, you know, really now, from now on until the playoffs, until we get into the playoffs, every game is huge and we can't get complacent and just, you know, pat ourselves on the back and say how well we played. We just need to keep... Uh, building on what we're doing and making sure that that consistency is now there for 40 minutes every game. And Cal, good, good to play quality opposition going into the finals if that is where you're destined to have Dandenong at home, followed by Canberra at home, you know, two sides who who have, are certainly going to have plenty to play for over the last couple of weeks of the season. Yeah, most definitely, but I mean, every game this season for us, especially with um, our consistency this year, has been a challenge, but yeah, like you said, coming into the last, you know, who knows what's going to happen in terms of finals in those last four positions. Um, it's, it's pretty exciting for the league, I guess, but um, look, we're obviously happy going into having two home games to finish off the season. Congratulations, guys. Thank you for that. Thank you very much.